you mentioned Gotch. You uh, consider yourself a catch uh, wrestler. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've mentioned to you offline that I competed in a couple of catch wrestling mm -hmm. tournaments. Uh, can we go Wikipedia level at the very basic? You're the yes. exactly right person to ask, what is catch wrestling and what are its defining principles? I would say the easiest way t for us to talk about and give uh, an overview of what catch is in the simplest terms is think of collegiate wrestling with submissions. That is essentially what catch is. And it's not surprising because collegiate wrestling is actually derived from catch as catch can. It's just that over time, certain aspects were, were um, uh, removed from the competition structure so that they became uh, null elements, things that were discarded. Uh, but it's funny that you can take high level uh, amateur coll collegiate types and you can show them a move and then add a little bit to it and go, oh, well, hey, that was just like what we already do here, but except, oh, I didn't know you could take it all the way to this point or you know, things of that nature, especially even when it comes to professional wrestling, like uh, teaching people like, no, that, that I know you're just using this for uh, in a show, but this is actually a real move and here's how it really feels. And so collegiate wrestling and wrestling in general for people who are not aware is, is basically two people start on their feet mm -hmm. and they have to score they have, they're trying to take each other down and they have to um they score points along the way you can end matches by pinning them for example mm -hmm. on their back i think one way to describe wrestling is uh it's very much about figuring out ways to establish control and leverage in these kind of uh tie-ups or there's different styles where you can do more from a distance to where it's more about the timing and all that kind of stuff Ultimately, it's an art of like both upper body and lower body, and you could choose the different puzzles that you solve there. You could be attacking the head, the arms, you could be attacking the legs. There's also part of collegiate wrestling that's on the ground mm -hmm. that has more uh, what's called like a referee's position. Or right, whatever. the referee's position where you're on uh, your hands and knees, yeah. basically. And so... Uh, do you, do, you, do you understand what that's supposed to simulate? Why is that one of the standard positions? It's one of the standard positions because one, it's one of the easiest ways to actually get up. Um, but two, it's because you cannot be on your back. If you're on your back, you're getting pinned. And back exposure or being pinned is pretty much the universal wrestling uh, thing. One, taking the guy from their feet to the floor uh, and two, pinning them. As you go from like, was it uh, Cornish wrestling, t Turkish oil wrestling, Mongolian, sumo, uh, Indian, um, well, they'll call it Pelwani. It's also called Kushti, um, Jiu Jitsu, Judo. Um, so many of them is like, there's a you Sambo. Even if it doesn't end the match, it's still like one of the most important aspects of the competition itself across. So, but every style. And this is where submission, like catch wrestling or uh, submission wrestling or jujitsu feels different, which it seems like for most wrestling, for a lot of wrestling, mm -hmm. the dominance is the, is the goal mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to submission, mm -hmm. which I, I guess those two are related, but dominating the position. So that's what pinning is. It's almost like breaking your opponent like breaking uh, through all of their defenses to where they're completely defenseless and you could do anything with them that you want. Maybe that's a Wikipedia definition of dominance. I don't know. <laughs> and then, yeah, I mean, it sounds very much like a uh, chain to a radiator. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This, uh, there's a thread that connects all yeah. runners. Uh, but submission feels different. Uh, I mean, it is actually different when you think about it across the landscape. I don't think radically different, but just still slightly different in that. Um, if you think of wrestling as being derived from, from, from combat, right? So, well, it is combat sports, but more, more lethal combat, getting somebody off their feet and onto their back is about as lethal a place for the person on bottom to be in general. I mean, I, 
I don't don't come at me with your talks about your fucking worm guards and blah 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 and whatever fit spider bear them. Yeah. Okay, get out of here with that. This yeah. is we're not talking about you in this highly uh, regimented sporting environment. We're talking about general, you know, all the body hair, none of the waxing human beings. So, uh, getting someone on their back. Okay, there. You, you, as you're trying to get up, you're getting hit with a rock or stabbed or what have you, set on fire. Who knows? Generally, these conflicts are not just isolated to one on one. It's if it's four on two, your 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 buddy that was with you back to back. Now he's on his back. What do you think? And now it's going to be one on one while three go on one. Yeah. So and then you go, you elevate this to to armored combat, right? Mm -hmm. And it's boom, put them on the ground. Oh crap, it's hard to get up. Well, while you're struggling to get up, stab. You know that's where jujitsu's uh, concepts come from with all their leveraging and off balancing is. Oh man, if I end up in this situation in tight close quarters combat, yes, we could fight it out with swords and knives and what have you, but it's way easier if the first thing I can do is foot sweep you on your back and then pull my knife and just go stick. 